Welcome back to another Beast of Bermuda video. This time, I've done it. I have figured out sharp teeth and thick hide with the help of my friend Grix and days worth of testing. So, sharp teeth, if you don't know, helps you fight bigger predators. Thick hide prevents that, helps you survive smaller predators. If you don't know what it does, exactly where what it says it says allows a boost in damage to larger prey simple enough over here sharply reduces the amount of damage taken from small hits the reverse they are the opposite they are equal to each other you'll understand what i mean by that so with sharp teeth your bites have to be 15 percent less than their max hp so if they have let me give you an example. Let's say they have 3,000 HP. Easy enough. If you do 15% of that, or less than 15% of that, you will get a bonus to sharp teeth. So you have to be doing less than 450 damage. For a Meg, that's easy. That's a Meg versus a Psy right there. A Psy with 3,000 HP... A Meg dealing about 260 damage. Simple. Sharp Teeth is going to help you with that. The issue with that is the size getting the same benefit with Dick Hyde. If their damage is 15% less than your max health, they take reduced damage. Or you take reduced damage. They do less damage to you. So Sharp Teeth is needed to counteract Thick Hide. But Thick Hide is needed to counteract Sharp Teeth. But Thick Hide is more useful in more scenarios than Sharp Teeth is. This guy, the Rex, is the prime example. So let's go back to that Psy scenario that I was talking about. The Psy has 3,000 health. You have to do 450 damage or less in order to get a bonus from Sharp Teeth. But a Rex... A Rex dishes out a lot of damage. Here I have 3 out of 3 Brawler, which most Rexes do, because you want the most damage you can do. So I'm probably pumping out about 600 damage. That means Sharp Teeth would not help me at all. But that also means Thick Hide wouldn't help them. But that's where it kind of differs. Let's say I'm fighting a Para. In no situation... Does that para have enough health that I am doing less than 15% of its HP? So Sharp Teeth is not going to help me with a para. It's not going to help me with a Meg. It's not going to help me with an Acro. It's not even going to help me with another Rex. Because this 1.6 Rex is only less than 3,000 HP. And I'm only... And then I have to do less damage. So I have to have 3,000 HP, but do less than 450 damage. But for a Rex, that's impossible. So for a Rex to actually benefit from Sharp Teeth, it has to be a super big Apata or a super big Psy or a massive Rex because the Rex, you don't have a lot of HP, but you would have to be this massive Rex and you would have to be this tiny Rex to be getting actually Sharp Teeth advantage because Sharp Teeth goes off of your current damage. If you have 5 out of 3 Brawler, that means you were closer or surpassed that 15% threshold. And now Sharp Teeth loses its value. Versus for them, Thick Hide has so much more value. Because sure, maybe against you, the one Rex that is full combat and is fighting them, they may not, Thick Hide may not save them from you. But guess what? For every Acro, for every Meg, for every Icti, for every Velo, for every Paki, for every Para, for every Moza, anything else but you, maybe a Chrono with the Lunge, uh, Size with their Smacks, because it seems like Size just break through everything, and a Pot of Stomp. Thick Hide is always going to help you. Thick Hide is going to be a must. Even if you're little, even let's say you're a Nicti, guess what you fight as a Nicti? Maybe Mozas, Elasmos, Velos, Birds. And guess what? Thick Hide can help you with that. Because here I have 970 health. So 
975. So if I'm wanting to see 15%, as long as they do less than 146 damage, Thick Hide will help me. So guess what? Even a Meg. No, maybe not a Meg, because Megs probably do around somewhere to 200 damage. So, not a Meg. But I really wouldn't be fighting a Meg as an Icty unless I was way bigger than it, and I could outmaneuver it. But for the most part, fighting an Elasmo. An Elasmo is not going to do 146 damage for a bite. You're, you're looking at around somewhere like 80. A trope. Uh, trope could hurt. Trope could hurt. But Velo, other things, where you're fighting, Thick Hide will help you. Versus, you're not going to fight a Rex and expect Thick Hide to save you. Hell, you're probably going to barely survive two bites versus a Rex. Bite one and you're pretty much gone. Bite two and you're literally dead. So at that point, it's like, why are you fighting this Rex? But guess what? Sharp Teeth, though. Sharp Teeth for you helps you out so much versus that Rex. But that Rex has any thick hide, there goes your entire bonus. It's gone. It's out the window. You no longer have that bonus. So thick hide has more utility and in more situations... Is Thick Hide actually useful than Sharp Teeth? Taking Thick Hide in Constitution is far superior than taking Brawler and Sharp Teeth. Why? The simple fact of this one beautiful, amazing talent called Tough Stomach. So Tough Stomach right here decreases some of the negative effects of being overfed. When you're overfed, you gain more health, you heal better. It gives you a lot of effects, but it stresses you out and it slows you down. But with Tough Stomach, it reduces water poisoning, the turn radius, the stam related effects of being overfed. So Tough Stomach, in the sense, so let's go like this. Let's fill all stats real quick. And let's look. I'm at 7,000. So if I'm at 7,098 HP. Somebody would have to be coming up and do 1,000 damage, 1,006 damage to me in order for Thick Hide not to work. Everything is going to be doing less than 1,000 damage, except maybe a full Apata combat stomp. So that means even a Rex full combat is going to take reduced damage. So they have to build Sharp Teeth in order to beat me, which, as I just said, Sharp Teeth only helps against me. So I'm taking Thick Hide, which is going to help me versus everyone except another Apata. While this Rex is going to have to build Sharp Teeth to just be able to hunt me. It's not going to help him against the Paras in my group. It's not going to help him against the Packies coming in smacking him. It's only going to help against me. One target versus my Thick Hide helps against what 14 targets and then guess what if i get overfed so let's spawn me a fat plant real quick let me eat this come here there we go so right here overfed you have gained some weight you move slower and lose some stamina faster you're left comfortable but you have more hp and you heal faster now i have 7600 so just to prove a point he would have to now do 1140 damage. So 1140 damage to negate or go past my thick hide. Now I just gained more health, more thick hide, because nobody's going to be doing that much damage to me. So my thick hide is helping me out even more, and I just had more health. And as long as I have tough stomach, it doesn't really affect me all that much. And I'm a slow apata anyways. It's not like I'm going to be booking it down this valley here. So if you think about it, there's three ways to become OP in comfort versus two ways to become OP in combat. And they're situational. Sharp Teeth is situational where Thick Hide almost has unlimited versatility. Besides in the sense that you're fighting a Rex, which is one target out of all the other targets. The only other target would be a Chrono with the powerful lunge, and you would have to be stuck in the ocean to do that, which, I mean, you're probably going to die at that point anyways. 
So pretty much all you need to do as a carnivore, even a herbivore, if possible, like a coach has this, is max out your sharp teeth, your brawler, thick hide, and constitution. If you have those four talents, five out of three, you are the most powerful you could be. Because if you do less than 15% damage, you're getting the most effect you can. If they do less than 15%, you're getting the most negation you can. But with constitution and tough stomach, which I wouldn't worry about getting an inherit and you could just get three out of three, you're getting the most health you can, which is going to further increase how much thick hide you get. And that's if, so if you get a plus two thick hide in order for them to fight you, they also have to have a plus two in sharp teeth. If you have sharp teeth and thick hide, then they have to have thick hide to be your sharp teeth. Y you see what I mean? So thick hide is so essential. I think it's a slept on talent. Like, yeah, people take it. But if you get two out of, or sorry, if you get a plus two and have five out of three thick hide, you're, you're insanely powerful. And as long as you're going, because you're going to go three out of three here, if you get tough stomach, get fat. Get that fat. But again, this is only in 1v1, me versus you, brawler versus brawler scenario. It's not me versus these eight megs, me versus these two rexes. It's not uh, me as a packy going against 20 velos. It's not that. It's 1v1, you versus me. What's going to give me the best outcome? Because versus yourself, it's not really going to help you all that much with sharp teeth. But boy, thick hide will help you. And being fat is definitely going to save you. Hopefully it makes sense. Hopefully I didn't confuse too many people. If you have questions, obviously ask me down in the comments. I'll give you my answers. I'll tell you like how certain things work for me. If you know anything, let me know. Maybe I got something wrong. Or if you think something's going to be better, let me know what's better. And just, oh my gosh, please help me with this. Because I racked my brain for so long figuring this stuff out. And so I wanted to get it out so that way we can try and figure out what, what's really going on. And I think I got a good idea of what's going on. And I kind of brought it down together very well. Please just let me know what you guys think.